Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Last time we did the last non-main quest quest and this time it's time for us to move on to fighting Gortash, which is going to be very exciting. However, we're getting ahead of ourselves. There are a few bits of administration we have to do first. Number one, we have to switch out our party members, which is a pretty major bit of administration, as in we have to figure out who we're taking. Now, I did look it up a little bit just to see like which companions to take, and everybody said take uh, Karlak, which I think was fairly obvious. Beyond that, there were no real suggestions, apart from a couple of people saying Will sometimes has good lines to say, so we'll maybe take Karlak, Will, and I'm thinking Jahira. The reason I'm thinking Jahira is it's kind of Baldur's Gate related, as in related to the city of Baldur's Gate, and she tends to fit in quite nicely with that. If he has any lore to drop, she'll generally be the one to add a little bit extra. And I was trying to think who else, like Lazelle, I can't see her caring one way or another. Uh, Gale, I mean, like, he might like that there's nether stones, but beyond that, not really. Shadowheart seems pretty done. Um, Minsk, I don't think, is going to be above Jahira in priority ever. Astarian seems pretty done, so, you know, it kind of seems like it makes sense that way. There is another piece of administration, though. The other piece of administration is that I've been told I may not have all the bits of Dribbles the Clown, which we should have which is worrying because we, you know, like we have nowhere else to go. But let me have a look here. Oh, also I can stack these, which will make me feel much better. Also, I've realized I could have probably been using these throughout the game, but I still feel like morally it's wrong to use the souls of like, you know, innocence to uh, to fuel your powers. But anyway, um, when I had a look, I saw that we had a couple, we have five parts. Now, I went and had a look at a list online, and there are six parts we can access. The head being the final part, we cannot access that because that is found in the Undercity Ruins, which is, as we know, where you fight Orin, or where you go and confront Orin. So, let's go down the list very quickly and just go through the ones we got. So, number one, Clown's Severed Hand, you find in a Popper's Stall in the Circus Grounds. Yes, we got that. Second, Torso. You pick this up from the Open Hand Murders quest and is in the Underground Tunnels. By the way, this is in order of distance from the circus, apparently. So, um, that's how it's organized. So, Torso, um, you get in the Underground Tunnels. Cool. Pelvis. Uh, from Basilisk Gate Waypoint, go north through a narrow alley uh, beside uh, Elfsong Tavern, you'll find a blue door. Yes, we found that. Severed Arm. You find this one um, in the eastern part of Sorcerer Sun uh, eastern part of Sorcerer Sundries. Find a small house that's been boarded up. Destroy the boards with melee attacks and enter the abode. Yes, we have the arm. Leg. Uh, you want to go to Lavernica's house. It's slightly west of the lower city central wall. Um, waypoint. You'll notice a macabre scene with numerous spiders that have been slain. There's also another hatch here. It leads to a small underground cave. This is where you'll find the leg. Foot. Ah, we don't have the foot. Uh, the foot is in fact missing. Uh, next, from the house where you found a severed leg, make your way to Rainforest Home, which is beside Beehive General Goods. Uh, you have to jump up to the second floor landing, open it up, head downstairs to a hatch, and there it, sh it should be there. Okay, we don't have that. Well, given that, we're going to be switching out our party members, which means that we're going to have to go and but rebuff, which means that we're also then going to have to be in the other area anyway. It makes sense that we should go there and, uh, yeah, see what we can find. So let's go. We may also get an event doing this because we're going between regions, so you sometimes get the uh, long rest events here. No, not this time. Okay. I was just seeing whether we had a long... I don't know if we have a long rest event that we're expecting, right? I mean, I maybe the Emperor would speak to us again. Uh, or should I call him Balduran? I don't think I should call him Balduran, because he's not really Balduran anymore, is he? Uh, he's more like the, um, you know, the tadpole that has taken over the former body of Balduran. But anyway, that's kind of more metaphysical than I was aiming to get. Um, philosophical? I guess metaphysical could be true. 
but philosophical is probably a better word to describe it. Anyway, I'm just hoping that this 100% finishes and then I can have something else to talk about. And then we can go and find this foot. Now, the worrying thing is, I think we've been to where the foot was. Why is this worrying for us? Well, it's extremely worrying because if we have been to where the foot is and we have found the foot, that means I have misplaced the foot. And that would be very horrible. That would not be good. Uh, by the way, it, we also have coordinates, which is the first time I've ever used the coordinates. Coordinates are minus 92, minus 119. So this was where one of the scenes was. I think that's where the leg was. So it's over here. I believe Beehive Goods is like there-ish. Yeah, it's there. So, uh, make your way to Rainforest Home. Which might be this one, actually. Yeah, this might be Rainforest Home. Uh, which is beh beside Beehive Goods. I don't know if it is. Wait, have we been in here? I think we've been in here. Yeah, I don't think this is the right place. Um, okay, Rainforest Home, which is beside Beehive Goods. And then reach the second floor landing. Maybe I want to hit... Maybe it's down there. Oh, um, uh, yeah, it was there. There you go. So we have been there. Right. We've just, um, yeah, we just haven't found the uh, leg here. Okay, unlock the door, head downstairs, and notice a hatch. Okay. Head downstairs. Notice a hatch. Okay, I have. Bloodstained parchment. Ah, okay, that was just the list. We'll have that. Go down the hatch. Ah, we've never been here. Well, this is uh, new, then. Okay. Well, let's tripwire this. Uh, do a guidance. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. Trap. Be cautious. Where's the trap? I mean, I can't see it. Was the problem? It's probably through a door, then. I guess. There's the foot, and there's. Absagil the Fourth. The effigy of Absagil, who soared on shredded wing. What use his pride, he thought himself a dragon but died a worm. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood for Orin the Red. Okay. Hate, among other things. That now gets us. Collect all the body parts. We're only missing one final part, which is the head. Okay. Bottled breath. Faded scroll of reversal. The time-bitten parchment of this scroll flakes and frays, obscuring most of its content. It appears to describe the process for breaking an enchantment that has bound a mighty dragon into another service. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. How peculiar. I guess it could mean, like, one of these guys, but it could also mean something else. Tripwire, that's what we spotted. There we go. You know, like, get the tripwire. Come on, you can do it. Jahira's like, come on. Back in my day, we just walked on traps. What are you doing? You know, standing here trying to disarm. Just walk on the trap, trigger it, take the damage. You know, be a real hero. Right. That's fine. Grab all of these. Grab all of these. It's very important. We uh, poss we could not possibly survive without this loot that I'm acquiring right now. Ooh, a strong box. Actual loot? Oh, never mind. Uh, this is an auto pass. I don't need to roll guidance on it. Oh, okay. Cool, we'll have that. Uh, we'll have that. Anything in the wicker basket? Nope. Okay. Cool. The other side? I'm assuming we have another trap here. No? Um, okay. Tombstone shop notes. I've come across several pointers towards Candle Hollow's tombstone shop, so I decided to use my spare time for a while to watch it for suspicious activity. Indeed, the place is strange. It seems disconnected from Candle Hollow's main mortuary business over in Eastway. In fact, they don't seem to sell anything at all. There's one callow shop lad who hangs about looking bored. Otherwise, there's just the occasional customer who enters and stays for inside for a while, sometimes for hours. When they leave, these customers seem different somehow. I'd swear I'd saw one go in and out the same clothes, but leaving 
uh, but leave wearing a different face. Must stay alert. I think the shop lad may have noticed me hanging around. I'll give this observation just one more day. One day too many, unfortunately, for you. What abides below? Um, pal, um, or palm, uh, I guess that would be Plamondon, tells us that Grey Harbour was a small coastal village before Baldurin returned with his sea treasure and founded the great city here. But the vast subterranean ruins hidden beneath their modern city sewer system tell a very different story. It was once a city on the bight of the lower Sionthar, ages before Baldoran built a sea tower, a metropolis of grand boulevards and granite towers opened to the sky before the unknown cataclysm that split them to their foundations and then swallowed them into the bedrock. Who were these forgotten people who lived in the age before Baldoran? Perhaps, more importantly, who or what still lives in the ruins of that tumble-down port town below? What things, creatures, or creations lurk deep beneath our streets, and do they have designs on what we like to think is our world on the surface above? Hmm, interesting. Okay. So we had some kind of detective-y type person here. Hmm. Alright. Not too much else going on. Just trying to figure out why this guy was investigating, or whether he was just doing it because he was like... Yeah, I just like investigating. I'm an investigator. That's what I do. I investigate. Hey, okay. Potion of... Uh, sorry, scroll of... Um, what's it called? I'll get there eventually. Dimension door. I knew what I'd picked up. I just couldn't articulate it for some reason. Shelf. Nothing here. Wine. Traveler's chest. Record of ownership. Um, okay, so this is ownership of Candle Hallow's tom tombstones. Has existed as Candle Hallow's funeral arrangements for generations owned by Candle Hallow's family. Attempted rebrand after Le Lena Candle Hallow took over 1492 DR to Candle Hallow's tombstones. Rebrand to focus on our core values, getting folk buried fast. Le Lena turned over to fist for obscene necromantic uh, practices by local adventurers. Unclear as to where she's jailed. Shop hasn't sold a tombstone in months. Deed still being paid for. No, no to pay. Just gets paid. How? I mean, that is a little odd. Observation notes. A note addressed to Alexander Rainforest. Alright, my lot have been watching that tombstone spot for a 10 day now. Seen a bunch of folk in big cloaks going in. Only seen a scant few come out though. It's weird. You'd think they'd be quite cramped in there by now with that many folk inside. It's a tiny, it's only a tiny shop. Anyways, your lump sum bought you a 10 day. If you want more of our time, pay up. All the best. Roar Mundlo. So it was um, Rainforest who was uh, funding this. Okay. Uh, we did find something about him. It was the Bloodstained Note, right? Uh, if I can't find it, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't know where it is. It must have stacked somewhere. Oh well. I wanted to see what Alexander Rainforest did. Maybe I still left it up here. Maybe I never picked it up. I must have picked it up. Yeah, I did pick it up. Okay, let me try one last time. Uh, it wasn't that one. Dear answer. See, it was after... Oh, Bloodstained Parchment. There we go. Um... Oh, it just tells you where he is. It doesn't tell you what he is. Okay. All right. Well, we now have the last uh, piece of, um, yeah, we now have the last piece of the climb that we weren't that we uh, can get without going into Orin's territory. Also, I realized I did want to go down the hatch. There's a very deliberate reason for this. I can cast. Oh, there are two. Uh, yes, I can cast this on him. Now, it won't say anything, but if I'm about to do a long rest, which I am, that will then allow us to, um, yeah, that'll allow us to trigger that so we can see what dead bodies speak. Good. Um, just thinking here. Yeah, actually, I want to just do a long rest work with the party I have, and then I can sort things out. Okay. Uh... Anyone want to chat? Nope. Alright, long rest. Uh, unselect four. We can. Oh, that's four. Perfect. Rest. It's all fine. So 
somebody's going to get caught. In, nope, nobody got caught in the twisting vines this time. Now, why was I happy with the party I had? Oh, um. Plow, giant strength. There we go. Why was I happy with the party I had? Well, the reason I was happy is because I need to buff. So, um, I'm going to need Minsk to buff us. Justice Basically. And sleeps in my there we go. Then buff Carl uh, Jahira. Then buff Will. Okay, one of these. Uh, one of these for you. One of these for you. You are almost as twitchy as both. Okay. Cool. Over here. That's fine. Right. Buff. And buff. Seems good to me. Right. Now, uh, head back. All's well that ends. Not as Speak to Mint. Noble chant, is it not? Hail will, blade of Avernus. Oh, now everybody has dialogue. Well, yes, Boo, the horseless chariots of Avernus are impressive too. But that would be no kind of name, would it? Um stay. Truly. But you have uh, here we uh... Okay. I still don't know why we have to say no to him twice, but whatever. We did. Right. and move. Jahe oh wait, not Jahira. Wrong one. Karlak first. We don't actually don't even need to speak to Jahira, we just need her to be in the party. The Blade of Avernus. I can't think of a better man than Will to take up the title. It's about time someone stood up to the evil fox populating the hells. Yes, yes. Let's go, go, go. Cool. Right. She's joined the party. We're going to head in here. Karlak, uh, make your yes, way into this corner. How high? Now we control Jahira, and we do this. Uh, then we do freedom of movement. Nice. Got both buffs on. Freedom of movement. Then freedom of movement. Like that. I know I'm using my good spell slots, but you know, it's worthwhile. Freedom of movement is a good buff. Right, grab these, send to camp. Always Wonderful. Um, and now I think we're buffed. Right. Move this up here. This down here. Connect in. Now, Carlac, I actually have something interesting. I have something interesting for you. I have this. So I'm going to send this to Karlak. Now you might be like, but what, what about our throwing weapons? Well, you see, what we can do is if we decide that we cannot, in fact, throw a weapon in the um, combat that we're in, she can stick with this. Otherwise, uh, we throw the weapon and then it just appears back in her hand, at which point, you know, that's fine. You know, it's all, it's it um, just goes back in her hand. But it is a very cool weapon, and it does do double her strength modifier in terms of damage, which is pretty good. So that being an extra plus five, and it grants it its advantage on lots of things, and it gives her giant form, and it also gives access to topple the big folk, which deals additional damage equal to your proficiency bonus, and even more if there's a big thing to fight. So, yeah, it's good. <laughs> right, so we're going to go with that. I was thinking a sword could be good for Lazelle long term, but in rest. the short term, it seems very, very good for her. Right, now you are still anointed in Splendor. Uh, everyone else needs to be anointed, so let's leave camp. Oh, wait a second, we're not done yet. <laughs> I forgot. Other people have buffs. It's crazy. Right. Then we will use our speaking to animals one. Animal speaking. I say it wrong every time. I'm always like, it's not the way you think it is, and it always is. Right, leave camp. 
Right, uh, next thing that I want to do is I want to speak to that body. It won't speak back, but that's okay. The corpse has enough. Cool, but now we have that there. Let's go. Uh, actually, I could have just teleported to the next location, which is Basilisk Gate. Um, Basilisk Gate. We're now going to buff up here. So we're going to head over this way. And we're going to grab a little bit of some god buffs. Uh, for the two who, well, for the three who need it. Right. So let's grab our Ogma buff. Your god is one of many. There we go. And in this. Right. Um, Will. Helm. You see an altar dedicate show. You are blessed by Helm's. Right. And. Skull Shahira. And um. Let's get another buff. This altar. Your god is one of many. Right. And in your soul. Oh. Cool. Um. Is that blood? Then, no, immediately, no we're going to teleport to here. Yes. I know, it's a little bit weird in terms of how we did that, but we have now got a fully buffed party, and we have the clown thing that we we're missing, and we're ready to go. Now, we found a way in last time, which I think would be really good this time. Uh, at least it seems like it's probably a good way in, because it's Gets us to the second floor immediately. Means we don't have to walk in the entrance, which I suspect would be a bad thing for us. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be good. But we'll see. Uh, the other thing is, it could end up being a terrible entrance because it might be on the wrong side. Because we really want to be on the right-hand side. Because uh, that's where we last saw um, Gortash. But we'll see. Oh, wait, don't go this way. Go oh, this way, slightly. Down here. Just use the ladder. <laughs> Don't know why he was having such trouble figuring it out. Weirdly, he had trouble figuring it out last time as well. Right. You know what I forgot to do? Right, go back to camp. <laughs> forgot a, a tiny, tiny thing. Nothing major, just like, uh, send that over to Carlac, would you? There we go. And then on Carlac, let's just put that there. Yeah, it seemed like a good thing to do. Let's stick that there and that uh, there. Perfect. Right. To do. Uh, now we can leave. I forgot to uh, give her any kind of healing. I actually haven't got healing perfectly set up right now, but you know, Here it's at least are. kinda set up on everyone else. Um. I think before I go into Auron, I might do a full, cool, you know, make sure our inventory sorted, but I don't know. More we'll see. Times. Right, jump. Did I save? I don't know. I could save here. I'm not that worried about a single feather fall thing. Gods are watching me. Right, let's do a save. Let's go. Right. All the way down here. And around. Again, I don't know where this goes, right? This either leads to Gortash or it doesn't, basically, which is not too helpful. But what I'm meaning is, either leads to Gortash or it leads to somewhere we haven't been, right? Either of which are acceptable outcomes for me here. Uh, the only non-acceptable outcome is that it just leads to us just randomly murdering some people who are, like, inconsequential. But we'll see. Oh, I can't reach that. That's impossible. My bad. Right. Quick save. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. I think we're ready. See, we're now on the level two fight Gortash, and we're right outside where Gortash should be. You should just be in here. That's a lot of blood. Wait, that's a lot of blood in here. What happened? <laughs> Was that us? Um, well, I'm going to unlock these because I'm really good at unlocking doors. Let's add a little guidance. There we go. We auto passed. That was the lowest roll we could get. Okay. 
Is this not where we want to be? There's a lot of blood. Are we on the wrong floor? It says that we're maybe too low a level, but... I don't know if we are. Oh. I, I guess we I guess we are. Okay. That's a lot of iron council people. Okay. Um Yeah, I don't really know what the plan is here. I guess Rage? Yep. Didn't really just expect to open the door and like be in combat. Oh, we could have gone around the outside. I should have gone around the outside. Oops. Okay, attack. To enjoy this. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Life comes easy these days. Okay. Stab. Your soul is in good hands. Okay, and then stab again. Oh, that one's dead. Uh, separate from the group slightly. Swift as my feet can carry me. Okay. Oh, this same old song. Jahira, in here. By your command. Um. I don't know what the plan is here. Um. Chill. Let them come to us. Uh, so wisdom save. I think she's fine. Yeah. I don't need to counter spell it because she'll just pass. It's a bold thought. No, she'll pass. Never mind, she didn't, but we now know who to hit. <laughs> he almost lost it by falling. I love it. All right. Ignore. You're going to try and do it on us? Nope, just an aura of terror. No. Okay. Yeah, I would love to get in here so I can hit this guy. I think I might do... This. Followed by knocking him over. Okay. Um... That didn't work. Good to know. Uh, looks like Karlak gets to go first. So we can maybe get out here. I was wondering if I want to go here. Then throw... That onto this guy. Broke the concentration. Wonderful. That's all I needed to do. Although now I can do it again. Actually, now I want to do this. Oh, he died. Oh. Well, whatever. Nice. Survival is all that matters. Jahira gets a turn. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot that one. Perfect. I just needed to literally do any amount of damage. So that now I can uh, trigger my seeking blood. And I thought we were going Good. To be friends. Right, now what are you going to do? She passed. Okay. She's got really high wisdom. It just doesn't seem like the kind of thing that you should be trying to cast on Jahira. Now Will. Will is a great target. He did pass, however. That's fine. Okay, we're goaded. Okay. Um. Hit him. Okay. Oh, this one gets to run in and do a thing. Okay, you got him. That's fine. We can get him back. Uh, wait. Can't control goaded. Oh, okay. That's fine. Frenzied strain? 
Oh, it we, we just stopped attacking after that many attacks? Oh. Okay. And then again. Alright, move in. You still have time to surrender. Uh old person. You you counterspelled me. Will? What's up with that? Shoot him. Well, that's annoying. Okay. He's going to cast Hunger of, of uh, Hadar or something again, isn't he? Okay, that's fine, except that I don't get control of my turn. Will, what are you doing? How are you wasting my resources? You silenced yourself? Alright. What are you going to do? Okay. Uh. About to explode? Excuse me? Oh! Cushing grenades. I didn't even spot these. That's not good. Um. Hey, you. Kill him? Okay. Uh, Carlac? Let's go. Wait, Will isn't even... Will isn't dominated anymore, right? No, because I think they tried to cast it on someone else, which they're, then broke their concentration. Jimmy on the go. Okay, that's good. Uh, Reckless? <laughs> then again. <laughs> then again. <laughs> Wonderful. Still breathing. Get Just out here. Everything. Stab him. Incinerator caster just started activating. The designated area will be incinerated. Well, that sounds bad. Yeah, yeah. Get out of range of the incinerator caster. Definitely do that. Uh, then um, hit him. Nice. Don't know what you're doing. Just chilling. Alright, you're going to run into these things that are about to explode, maybe? Uh, not quite, but almost. Okay, uh, well, get out of the explosion. Seems like a good start. Okay, followed by... Can I have my Eldritch Blast? I'm allowed to Eldritch Blast this turn. I'm not silenced. Um... Also, I don't really need that silence aura to be there. I'm not silenced. I'm allowed to Eldritch Blast. Um, excuse me? Okay, I guess I'm going to shoot you. Because apparently I have lost my ability to cast spells. I don't know how. Okay, that's fine. Um, attack. Attack. Uh, throw. Easy. Nice. Can't even catch my breath. Up here. Stab him. This is the easy part. Uh, stay where you are. Okay, now you can cast spells again. There we go. Looking ahead, how much well, farther can I go? This wasn't what I expected to do, but hey, we did it. Uh, send to camp. <laughs> we might as well loot everything while we're here. I mean, it would be rude not to. Right, send to camp. We now also know the route we should have taken, which was the outside route, but let's not worry about that. Uh, send to camp. Lady Beatrice. 
Okay. Uh, sent camp. Okay, so he's killed every other Duke, I guess. That's, uh... Or every other member of nobility, I guess I should say. It's a pretty, um... Final decision, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm going to kill everyone. Uh, where does this lead? A passageway. I guess that takes you up. Okay. Cool. Uh, we'll hold off on that for now. Send to camp. Grab that. I, I could grab all the food. And I, you, trust me, I'm very tempted to grab all the food. I'm just aware that I would be here literally all day grabbing food. I, I, may, I might come back and grab the food. I, I'm not going to rule that out. But at this exact moment in time, I'm going to settle with grabbing what's on the bodies. Right. There we go. Even if it's not very much. I just want to see whether any of them had any good loot, basically. Or anything else. Okay. Uh, there we go. What's in here? Oh, it's just the outside. Okay, we've been there, I think. How many javelins did you need? I guess it's if you fight them, that she would just chuck javelins at you. <laughs> okay. Sure. This one? Yeah, okay. This side? You have some incinerators here. Which I assume were only activated by like spells being cast next to them. Okay, nothing on you. Nothing on you. This is another way outside, which we don't need to worry about. Get these doors. Which lead somewhere. Okay. So I assume this must lead to a passageway. No, it literally just leads to, like, another door. Ah. Alright. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Right. Grab that. Send to camp. Nobody has anything on them at all. That is uh, glorious. A small music box. I will take that. Send to camp. Okay. Oh, Patria's journal and Gortash's blacklist. All right. I require a list of all Patriots planning to absent themselves from my coronation. I request that they be brought to my private offices at the earliest possible moment so I might see if they may be brought round to the new order of our city. I think I might have read that earlier. And then the journal. Um, okay. 22, yes. Okay, that's fine. It was just, I think we read these earlier. We'll have them while we're here. And then this guy sent to camp. Okay, so we're going to go the other way, which we, we spotted uh, a little too late out here. Quick save. Oh, we should also do a short rest, actually, as well. We should be able to climb up here. Come, my guards. Still enough to be done this day. Let's make ourselves a little path. Just seeing if everybody else could make it up here. Uh... Okay. There are some dead steel watchers up here. I might have to manually do it, but that's okay. Let me just work out if we're safe. I think we're very safe. Right. The pride of the gate. There we go. Just needs a little bit of uh, maneuverability. That's okay. Also, why can't you not cast... Oh, it requires a long rest before use? You must have used a long rest thing? It's very annoying. Let me guess, you need something. 
Uh, yes, I need you to climb on that box. Jump. Jump. Get up here. Right. In Carlac. I kind of, yeah, I was getting the feeling you could probably just jump up here. What happened? Can't spa cast spells silenced, but like you're not casting a spell? Are you broken? You look a little broken. Let's quick save and reload. Uh, she is thoroughly uh, broken. Alright, let's reload. That's fine. It's fine, fine. No worries whatsoever. whatsoever. Things may be a little bit broken, but that's fine. No worries. Then we get up here, then we kill Gortash. Honestly, I don't think killing Gortash should be that difficult. Just in height, like, just, you know, well, just thinking about the dragon, right? I don't think Gortash is going to be more difficult than the dragon. I just don't see it going down like that, basically. <laughs> I see us, like, killing Gortash really quickly, unless he has, like, a oh, bunch of summons. Lad. I just don't think he will. I mean, step. I think the Steel Watcher is worth the summons. So I kind of think we've already solved Gortash. But we'll see. Apparently there's loot up here, which is just, like, free to take. I could have been up here ages ago looting water. What have I been doing? All right. Let's grab this. Have this. So there is a way over here. Let you get above where Gortash is. Ooh. There are some invokers of Baal up here and then a way to somewhere. Interesting. Um, I don't know if that's the way we want to take. I think we're actually good to just walk around, aren't we? Yeah, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't just walk around and let ourselves in. Honestly, it seems like it'll be pretty easy. Minus the traps. Okay. Yeah, I think we should just be able to walk in. That looks like a trap as well, actually, in hindsight. Uh, yeah, there's a lot to loot, but I kind of feel like we just walk our way in. Okay, over here. I avoided that very well. Okay. Could let ourselves in the side door, but like, why would we? There's a perfectly good front door. And it's much more cinematic to walk in through the front door. Okay. Just checking. It does, yeah, it says that's right where he is, so... Let's position ourselves in front of the door. Quick save. And walk in. Also, I am just wondering. You're a little covered in blood. I think we could probably do like a uh, sort by type. Do I? Yeah, we could probably do one of these before we go in. There we go. She's still covered in blood? A little bit, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's applying to her. Let's send this to Carlac. Damn, it's good to be alive. Maybe like one of those. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else feeling good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just Carlac who was avoiding the, uh, yeah, avoiding having herself cleaned. Right, let's do a save. And let's open the door and face Gortash. It did a auto save. I mean, I know this is a terrible idea. But I'm gonna walk directly in, straight, straight in. Look at all of these later, but these are all the ex dukes. Come to press ahead. We're all here. We're all good. Go. No scene. There we go. It's hard to keep a good woman down, isn't it, Carla? I don't know. You managed it for a solid decade. I never meant to harm you, dear. Merely to help you realize your vast potential. You sent me to the hells. You let Zariel take my heart. A 
as though any of it was yours to give away. The greater good, Karlak. Something I wouldn't expect you to understand. You feel no regret, do you? All right. How about fear, then? Oh, you do quite misunderstand. I've already made a deal with your companion. We need each other. Do we now? Um... Well, never mind that, Gortash. We've heard all we need from the likes of you. You ought to reconsider. Divided, the Elder Brain will create an illithid army, yourself included in its ranks. Together, we can tame it. I'm sorry you feel wronged by how things ended between us all those years ago. But now, we must look to the future. You make it sound like we were lovers. Or oh, friends. But that wasn't it. I trusted you. I respected you. It was my job to protect you. And that's what I did. I was so young. I didn't recognize evil when I saw it. When you turned on me, I was too dumbstruck to realize what was happening. No way he'd hurt me, I thought. You betrayed me for reasons I still don't quite understand. But I suppose evil has no real cause. It just is. Until it isn't. You utter brat. You're going to burn this place down. Good. Well, um, Carlac, stop this. You're burning too hot. I guess is what we should say, because, like, we don't want her to die. Then run while you still can. Okay. Well, I see this is the way we're going to be doing things. In that case, um,. Rage. Giant form. Uh, what's he got on him? Is he protected by something? Shell of resistance for one turn. Has immunity to thunder damage, resistance to physical and elemental damage for one turn, extra bonus action, and three uh, meters extra movement speed when he was in six meters of the force curtain. What is this? Force Curtain. Alright. I kind of feel like I just want you to charge. Tactical. Excuse me? Where did that appear from? Okay, well, we got as close as we're going to get, I think, to him. That's his. That's uh, her turn. This city is mine. Uh, he's running. Into the concussion grenade area. That is a fantastic move. I love it. What are you going to do for part two? Oh, no, that was it. Okay. Uh, he just ran forward and exploded himself. I mean, that's a, that's a bold move. I'm, yeah, it's a bold move. I mean, you did almost kill Jahira. I mean, that's fair. But, like, you're not the first and you won't be the last to almost kill Jahira. Um, let's drink one of these. And then... I don't know. I'm trying to think how I get rid of some people. Could potentially. Like, what's the chances of, like, this work? Only a 45% chance, huh? Or a polymorph. 45. Or this at a level 5. Still 45, but we can cast it on multiple people. Alright, maybe I'll try one of these. You know? Okay. Try some crowd control spells? It's, it's, a, it's an idea. Let's go for a level 5. Level 3 lets me do 2 targets. Wait, how many targets can I see? I can see 3. Okay, so. Level 5. 1. 2. 3. 4. Hey, I got 2. It's not bad. Alright. Not a huge fan of the concussion grenade, if I'm honest. Get over here. Forward. Start stabbing them. And then again. Okay. Will? 
Well, I kind of want you... Um, I'm going to make you run Two through the fire. The time. I'm okay yeah. with that. I've decided I'm fine. We could banish this one, and then they have no turns. It's okay. Cool. They have no turns. Can you reach him? Just about. <laughs> you have to walk through the fire, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, hit him. Oh! Execution. That was a good amount. Okay, then frenzied strike. Good. Solid amount of damage. Okay. Avatar of Tyranny. Oh, wow. Counter spell? That's fine. We failed the counter spell. Wow, you just keep went up and straight up punched your hero. Okay, what is Avatar of Tyranny? Uh, 150 temporary hit points. It's advantage to saving throws. Uh, with strength and strength ability checks and has fearsome new powers. Alright. He, he, he's strong for real. Maybe I should have killed the um, the extras. Okay. Uh, Bane's Brutality? Yeah. That's not good. Um, run over here and attack? May the gods take you first. <laughs> what? We missed 90% twice? Like, honestly, I'm just not entirely sure how that would happen. Okay, um... Uh... We try and move Jahira out of the way with, like, Dimension Door, maybe? Then we could res her later? Potentially, yeah. Take a step. Dimension Door. What's this manifestation of tyranny? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, move back, uh, or move... Yeah, okay, th th these are problems. Move over here. Okay. About to explode. What? Um... I don't, I don't really want you to pick it up, I just want you to be out the... <laughs> Out of the range. My way. Are these the guys chucking them? They might be. Okay, I don't really understand what's going on, but I feel like I made a terrible decision somewhere. Okay. Uh, that's fine. These guys get turns. Concentration was broken on banishment, which means that one's now back. We're really low in health. Incinerator just randomly goes off. Okay, what's this binding do? Uh, that's horrible. Yeah, yeah, she's about to die. Oh, ow. Okay, well, what's the binding between us two? Blinded? Ha has half movement speed. When it chain breaks, it'll take 8d8 force damage. That does not sound good. Okay. Kind of want you to just go stand next to him and attack, actually. I think on this situation, that might be the best plan. Is this guy... This guy's probably huge, right? This guy's probably huge. Let's topple the big folk. Yeah. It's probably huge. Well, it's a lot of damage. Uh... We could then lacerate. Nice. We broke the binding, so we don't take that damage at the end of our turn. And then, probably, I'm thinking like a big heal would really go down pretty well. Yeah. Right. What's your plan, Gortash? You did binding. Okay. She's alive. 
something died. Or did we just lose our turn for some reason? I think we just lost our... Oh no, something died. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay. Um... Oh, Jahira died. Oh. When I said something, I guess I meant Jahira. We kill these manifestations of tyranny. I don't know whether that's going to help us, but it would give him temporary health. Which is nice. Not really sure if that's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe that one. And then this guy. They're immune to force damage? I didn't even notice that. Oh, specifically immune to force damage. Oh. Well, that's, uh... It's annoying. Okay, well, uh, then I won't need to heal a lot of health. Drink. Um... I don't really know what's... Uh, something's... Uh, force is about to hit you, right? So, like, let, maybe just a fiendish resistance to force. Because you're the one who's currently shackled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's take a fiendish resistance to force. Yeah, that, I think that'll be good. Time to push my luck again. Okay. Our turn. Uh... Could try and break that. Could do a bunch of summons. It might be worth doing a bunch of summons, honestly. It's so like one here, 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 and here. Wait, uh, and here, or here, 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 and here. There we go. That seems good to me. Uh, then maybe do an offhand shot onto the onto Gortash. Hey, we broke Tyrant's bindings. That's all we wanted to do. Then do a stab. Nice damage. And because that was with a bonus... Uh, wait, that was over a secondary. So should we not gain... Um, my weapon somehow ended up in different hands. That must have been when we dropped our weapons last time. Ah, which means that the crit did not, in fact, give us bonus health. Well, you killed a ghoul, which honestly, like, that's acceptable. Yeah. This person gets their first turn of the combat. That was a turn, I guess. Yeah, they're doing buff each other strats. Nice. Nice. Oh, you shot the manifestation of tyranny? What's up with that? <laughs> okay. A lot of things happen there. None of which are particularly relevant to us, I was saying. And then we took a huge chunk of damage. All right, drink one of those to start. Let's go for... Uh, hit him. Hit him. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, everyone's been buying. Found this time. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Stab him. I know we're taking that hit. That's okay. Broke Tyrant's bindings. Stab him again. Okay. Ghouls, go. <laughs> yeah. That um, was not what... Um, okay. Hmm. Wasn't really why I summoned you ghouls, but cool. <laughs> cool, um, I guess. That's uh, like neat, I guess. Um, neat. Okay. Uh, huh. Could do this. Could dominate someone if I wanted to take someone for a turn. What's the chance of dominating one of these guys? 60%? It's not terrible. Uh, could try and find somewhere to stand. Although I don't really have anywhere to stand. These are force curtains, which I'm not entirely sure what these were doing. You got bonus as well next to them, but like... A malfunctioning one is making him vulnerable to elemental. Oh. 
Oh, but that only happens when he's within range of it. So okay, I understand what was meant to happen in this fight. Okay, that, that's cool. Um, I would like to hit him for a ton of damage. Let's try and figure out where a safe place to teleport is. Uh, how about here? Okay, hit him. He's immune to force damage. All right. More you know. Okay. Oh. Okay, weird. Ghoul. You killed a manifestation of tyranny. Well done. Okay. That's kind of weird. What are you doing? Yeah, that was a nice crit. <laughs> okay. Just thought I'd go for a stab in the back while we were here. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. It goes were. You now need to heal desperately. I just died uh, in turn based mode outside of my turn. What the hell? What? <laughs> can, can, I, can I ask what's happening? Uh, I just lost my turn outside of my turn. Um, then my died during my turn. What's happening here? Why, why do you have a thing above your head? What, what was this? Um, I don't know. Um, how much damage can you do in a single turn? Will? Any? I get the feeling we're redoing this because something went horribly wrong just in general. Um, I don't know. Chain lightning? We killed one. Good job, Will. Okay. Carlax about to die. Yeah. Well, given she had one health left, that seems likely. Yeah, okay, then you got attacked again. Okay. Um, um, you just got that outside of combat? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> uh, he just got yet another thing outside of combat. That's cool. Um, very cool. Huge fan of that. Okay, I think I'm going to redo this combat because I did it incorrectly. And then it started breaking in weird ways. Two steps at a time. Okay. So, force damage, not good against the manifestations. There's a lot of things that trigger outside of combat for no apparent reason that then affect combat. Um... Their turn timer is different than the combat turn timer, which is also intriguing to me. Um, Alright. Well, can I disable these before we get in? Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Some of them. I guess we could have taken this rope down had we gone to the roof. Doesn't really change very much, but I guess that would have allowed us to bypass some things. Um... Do we have force elixirs? El elixir. Uh, probably not. But let me have a look at other elixirs for other people. See, I mean, we have universal elixirs, but those obviously aren't what we're using right now. 
Uh, Eight people blessed. Uh, no. Uh, seeing what I have. Universal resistance. We yeah yeah potions of speed. Yeah 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 yeah. Mm, none of those. Oh, you know what I should do? I should send these to Jahira, because she needs she doesn't have any. Uh you know, I think we're good. I think we're just gonna try it again, except this time we're gonna win. Also, the dialogue feels weird here. It feels like it, you should be talking about things that aren't Carla. It's hard to give a I don't know. Given, you, you know, what's happened. You feel do we but anyway. You all I'm right. you make I when you you be and then run. That's fine. Go. He goes first. Okay, I think this makes things better. Okay, the blinded is annoying. He then gets to have his shell. Shell of resistance. Resistance to this sort of stuff while he's within six meters of the curtain. I see. But this one was malfunctioning. Um. Making him vulnerable to elemental damage. Is he vulnerable to elemental damage? No. Okay. I. Who gets a turn? Okay. Uh, we should probably kill these things. Jahira. I think we have given offense. I'm gonna walk in here. We're gonna go with. What? Chuck that. Is that you? Grenade him, Pate. Okay. These things just activate. Okay. Cool. Um, one, two, um, can't see you. All right, let's just cast this at third level then. One, two. Nice, we got one. Still on my feet. You, go stab him. Try me. Nice, uh, and then offhand stab. See, I'm thinking if we kill these guys earlier, our life will be easier. <laughs> you know? It's just an idea. You, on the other hand, Frenzy. Followed by B large. Actually, I might want to... Can I throw that? Yeah, go and throw that over there. Nice. That seemed pretty good. Followed by... Um, hit this person. Nice. Uh, step back. Shoot. Okay. That's fine. Uh, no, I think we're good. Okay. Go up the stairs slightly. Two, three. Decided I would just make sure we get the kill there. Um, then switch your resistance to force, because it's probably going to come up. Force or thunder, I think, seems very sensible here. All right, he gets his turn. You he loses shell of resistance. You chose to die. There's another about to explode thing that appears, which he then triggers, which then knocks to hear it over. Incinerator then starts charging on top of us. I see. Okay, you. Let's go. Res. Okay. Uh. Walk up here. Stab. Right. Shihira. No matter what you heard. Um run over here. Drink. Okay. Now this is my happy place. Hit. Uh hit. And hit. Okay, haven't quite killed them. No choice but to keep going. Oh, apparently you have one more stab. 
Nice. Okay, that opens up Carlac to move up a little bit. Okay. That's fine. Uh, you want to move as far to a direction as possible. That's fine. Now, is he about to explode underneath you, or do I, I think it's there? Yeah, so. The question is do we think that that's going to do something? I don't know. I guess I really want to run you up here and hit the force curtain if we can. Yeah, so you are not immune to force damage. In fact, you probably take. Well, you don't take extra, but yeah. We, we could hit you. Nice. So that means that that shell of resistance cannot apply to him. And that's not damage. That's deranged. I missed that that's a deranged. Okay. Cool. So it exploded. Or it killed the thing that was about to explode. You incinerate. Right. Gortash gets his turn. <laughs> Ow. The malfunctioning shell of resistance is now on him. So he now takes more damage, right? Yeah. So he's now vulnerable to all of this. Wonderful. That's what we like to see. Okay. Will. What we'd like you to do is heal. There we go. Uh... Could then haste if I wanted to. Are you weak to force? Not this turn. You're weak to fire, though. We could do a, a very cool scorching ray. Well, it wouldn't be cool. It would be hot, but you get the idea. We could do a scorching ray on you. I'm actually going to use haste this turn. Right. Uh, you know, before we do that, let's just make sure we heal everybody up first, in case something weird happens. There we go. Drink one of those. That's fine. You can now move here, I think. Throw. How did that hit her? What? Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure how that hit her, but whatever. It did, apparently. Um, will. One of these, level 5, hit him. What? You're of Reflect? Oh, oh Reflect or Guard active. Alright, I missed that. <laughs> I think I see what type of fight this is. Orders. Where do I go from here? I'm not entirely sure that I'm okay with it, but I see what type of fight it is. It's a way. little bit of a troll fight, I think. As in, like, lots of things that appear and activate. Alright. Can I throw it like this and am I okay to do that? No, I need to... Alright. Dash. Throw here. Okay, that at least did damage to him. Stab. Okay. Run forward and lacerate him. Okay. Incinerator charging, but that's not going to hit us. I think. I do want to heal if I can. She has a lot of health, so we can keep it topped up. And then, I want to do this. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Those do hit, because they hit slightly out of range. Okay. Nice damage. He's about to ascend. Wow, that's a lot of damage we just did. He did not ascend. Oh, there we go. Now he's ascending. Then he gets another turn. 
Counter spell? That did work this time. Okay. So we have the concussion grenade there, which is going to do a hell of a lot of damage. Can I? All right, no. I could attack Gortash. All right, let's go with sensible things to start with. Sensible thing. Heal. Then throw away. Right. So she is fine. <laughs> Sensible turn. Will, are you about to be hit by anything? You move, you take an attack opportunity from this thing that you're now standing on top of. This uh, manifestation of tyranny. Which is immune to force, as we found out last time. As a weird, like, just extra. Do you have Reflecto Guard active, or do you have Malfunctioning Shield active? You have Malfunctioning Shield, but no Reflecto Guard, but you are immune to fire now. Just as an extra. Alright, so you're immune to the only damage type I could reasonably hit you with. Wait, are you immune to force? Yes. From the Avatar of Tyranny. It says you got that. Okay. I could kill you, which will get rid of Aura or Brutality. Which is an effect that can stack. However, you do not have that effect on right now. He's permanently armed. Okay. Uh, let's heal. Okay. Uh, I could attack this. I just don't know if I would kill it. Uh, maybe this is a turn to attack it. Yeah. Or it's a turn to drop some huge AoE down that would kill multiple things, but... I don't know. Let's kill this. Right, that seemed fine. End turn. Um, let's use uh, topple the big folk. Followed by hitting him. Recklessly. We then hit him again, but I actually feel like the best use of my time is to heal. Because she uh, doesn't go over... Like, that doesn't overheal her. Right. Our turn. Stab him. Honestly, just stab him a lot. <laughs> okay. These guys go creak. That's fine. It exploded itself. He's taking damage. Counter spell. He saved it. Okay. Uh, ow. 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 Okay. Is there still a thing on the floor here? I don't think there is. I think it already exploded. Okay, let's start with us. We are going to start our turn by healing. <laughs> right, heal up. Stab him. We broke Tyrant's bindings. Wonderful. Attack. Attack. Hold off a second, Jahira. Throw this away. Nice. I also killed one of the guys as well, which is a nice extra. Will, you got anything to do? No? Okay, Karlak. Frenzied strike. Kill him. Recklessly. We did it. I can't believe it. We did it. Okay. Move into the center here temporarily. Okay. 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 Chill. Quick save. That wasn't too bad. That was not too bad at all. That was... That was okay. <laughs> it was a little dicey, but... I think once we realized killing the adds, then killing him was the plan. It became a lot easier. My main issue, I think, on the first time is that all the explosives went off at seemingly random times. The second time we did it, we were allowed time to deal with them. I'm actually thinking what happened the first time is that they got delayed off their turn. You know how sometimes we attack and the damage doesn't hit instantly? I think that's what was happening. So what was happening is that we were already being hit with abilities 
that should have gone off earlier, but they didn't. I think that's what happened to us. Feeling fresh. Right, uh, let's have a chat. It's finished. It's done. I need to see him up close. I need to know he's dead. Okay. He's dead. So Gortash is nothing more than a pile of flesh? Same as the rest of us. Hmm. He said she's working something out. Say nothing. I feel like there should be a sunset for me to ride off into. Or an orchestral swell or something. But there's nothing, is there? I killed the bastard who ruined my life, and my prize is that I get to crawl into a corner and die. Am I fucking missing something? Hmm. Well, let's say nothing. She just wants to vent. I can't do it anymore. Ten years, man. It's enough. It's enough. He's dead. And he's no fucking sorrier now than he was before. What was the point? I'm still dying. I'm dying. I'm going to die. Hmm. Well, maybe we can still fix your engine, stabilize it. A miracle in your back pocket you forgot to tell me about. I'm going to be as dead as a Gortash any day now. Any moment. And what then? Off to the city of judgment to waste into oblivion? Into the dirt to get eaten by maggots? Is that it for me? Is that fucking all? And you, you'll just keep going, won't you? Watching the stars, warming your hands on the campfire, dancing, eating, making fucking love all night. All of it, all of it! That's my reward for everything I suffered. That's why I survived 10 years of torment. The fighting, the clawing, the loneliness. <laughs> the fucking loneliness. All of it so I could rot. Because the person I trusted the most gave me away to the devil! <laughs> it isn't fair. <laughs> I don't want it like this. <laughs> hmm. Well, let it out. It's about time. I don't want to die. I want to live. I want to stay. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do now? <laughs> um, well, that's for you to decide. I ought to just end it all now. On my terms. But then who'd save this godforsaken town? <laughs> Let's get out of here. I've always hated this place. Stupid fucking gigantic bridge or whatever. I think I need to go to camp for a while. Be alone. Scream at the sky. You can come and find me later if you want to. Thanks for listening. For existing. Love you. All right. Oh, she's she's just off with my loot. I'll see you later then. She wanders off. Okay. Well, it's just the three of us now. Um. Yep. Just all three of us. Um. I'm going to loot Gortash if that's alright with you two. I thought it would be. Mine. Mine. Ooh. 
Fabricated Arbalist. Ah, so that's what let him do that and very annoying blinding move onto us. Dazzling Ray. Yup, yup. Okay. I mean, that's just really annoying, but it's actually not that useful for us, weirdly. Is this a one? Wait, unless... No, it's heavy, of course. Right, send to camp. Cloth of Authority. You can't be frightened, cannot be afflicted with any other emotion-altering conditions. You have advantage on intimidation checks and insight checks, armor class plus one. You can hardly be called a lord if you aren't dressed as what such. A cursory glance at Gortash's fine raid would reveal intricate garb. A closer look would reveal a maddening attention to even the most minute details of the filigree. Okay. Tyrannical jackboots. Uh, you gain a plus one to charisma checks and saving throws. If I move this way, that's less loud. Uh, okay, each step taken in Gortas's shoes is a reflection of the man himself. Quick, sharp, and terrible. Netherstone Studded Gauntlet. Your unarmed attacks deal extra damage. Wonderful. You also gain a bonus to spell save DC. Uh, that is actually kind of useful. A tyrant's grip must be one of cool, unforgiving, and intricately realized steel. It cannot bulge, cannot falter, no matter the pressure, and its fingertips must deeply pierce those who would struggle against it. We'll pick that up in a second. His key, phase optimizer, reflector guard. Yeah, those are annoying. And a note from Helzik. Lord G, yes, if necessary, I could get you back into the House of Hope for the right price, of course. Though I doubt they'd be happy to see you again. You didn't exactly leave on the best of terms. However, I know your business. However, you know your business better than I or anyone else. H. Devil's Fee. You know what's interesting? When I was looking up the Gortash fight to see what companions to take, I did notice that people had you like doing this as they had like a list of many things that you could do in Act Three, right? So I was only looking at this one, and it was like, yeah, uh, they were doing this as like the third thing, like arrive here, kill Gortash, and I was like, what are what are people doing? They're just arriving and killing Gortash out of nowhere. I was very confused. But the fact that that note from Helsick is there basically implies that, in theory, you could just do this before the House of Hope, which just seems the wrong order. But okay. And now we got this. I kind of assumed something would happen. Howling like a great wind through a canyon. It engulfs your mind, drowns your senses. Above the hell rises a screech, gleeful and maniacal. It is the way and the truth. Absolute. Leave them alone. The screech quiets, the howl fades. Your mind is hollow, save one lone voice. Bane's chosen has fallen. His netherstone is yours. You have done well. Hmm. What just happened? You heard the Elder Brain. It's regaining its autonomy. It cries not from pain, but exaltation. We must stop it before it breaks free. One nether stone remains. Orin's. We must find her and take it from her. After that, we take control of the brain. And you should start wondering what you will do then. Hmm. I'll decide when we get there. Sometimes you surprise me with your wisdom. Okay, I just don't want to tell him what I'm going to do. Okay. So we now have his nether stone. Which means that Orin will have left a note for us at camp after learning this. Alright. Cool. Well, also down here. That's not the one I was looking for. Our fiery friend. We did as much as we could for Carlex's heart and helped her get revenge on Gortash. Now all she wants to do is see the city saved. Alright. Well. Let's see what you have to say, Gortash. I'm 100% sure he's going to speak to us. I don't need to camouflage ourselves here. Yeah. He wants to tell us. Oh, you seek Gortash. His soul is already suffering at my hands. That's the fate to all of all who fail me. So this is Bane. If you're not Gortash, then who are you? I am Bane, the Black Lord. I'm the ultimate tyrant. I am fear. I am hate. Also, I'm a bugged conversation because uh, we got the continue bug. 
and no voice lines. Um, weird. I gotta say, Gortash's fight, little weird in terms of what worked and what didn't work, right? <laughs> it's like, um, the Karlak bit, you kind of thought he might have something to say about us, him, to us about, uh, I thought he might have something to say to us about us destroying all of his Steel Watchers. Nah, he doesn't care. Uh, thought he might like want to mention that we went to the Iron Throne. Nah, he doesn't care. Uh, we had a little chat with him and oh, the, the continue is still there. Alright, it's just weirdly bugged. Okay. Um, so that was that. Then we got to this part and we've got this. And you, you are the dagger that bled Merkel's favors. Uh, favored you are the thorns that prick my sides. Yet you are proof that I still will rise and Baal and Merkel will yield. One question asked, four still remain. Alright, um... You said I am proof that you will rise. What did you mean? You live for power, you've proven it with every fallen foe, every chest opened, every skill claimed. Okay. As long as mortals and immortals vie for sharper blades and louder voices, I am strengthened. Mm-hmm. So it is for Baal and Merkel, so it is for you, you make me eternal. Okay. Um. Well, I'm no agent of yours. I seek power for proper ends, not for its own sake. Ha 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 ha. The corpse says nothing more. You did not ask a question. That's fair. Why did you ally with Merkel and Baal? Why do red dragons ally with the Githyanki? Why did the broken god be friends here? I don't know, conversation. We move into the next... Oh, there we go. And by turning mortals illithid, you deny their souls to their keepers. Okay. You do not stoke fear by reaping your own fields, but by burning your foes. Can you help me find the headquarters of Arn the Red? Of course you seek Arn, Baal's vengeful chosen. His temple is hidden even to my eyes. How fortuitous then that Arn seeks you. Okay. <laughs> um, Orin is too proud of her own handiwork to linger in your shadow. The vain don't like to be upstaged. Um, she'll make herself known to you if she hasn't already in her own special way. All right. Um, yeah, I was weird. That definitely does not seem to be, um, what's the word? Working? Let's be on my way. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Let's have a look in here. Helldusk Boots. You cannot be forcibly moved by foe's spells or actions that ignore the effects of difficult terrain. When you fail a saving throw, you may use your reaction to succeed instead. No ore takes better to being forced in Infernal Iron of Avernus with the Archdevil Zariel presides. Yeah, Hellcrawler. Teleport to an area and deal damage where you land. Cool. Uh, mind flare specimen and accelerated grand design. Um, as top leaders in the Bainite hierarchy, to effectively implement what the mad Alhun, known as Blue Apex, named the accelerated grand design, it's important that you understand its broad outlines. Don't worry about the details. Leave those to me. The central element of this plan is that our dominated elder brain lays illithid tadpoles that induce a state of suspended seromorphosis which, in which the host does not transform into a mind flare. Instead, the tadpoles become psychic minions of the hive or the hive mind of the elder brain, which they perceive as a goddess, a deity of the conquest they called the Absolute. This Absolute, however, obeys the commands of the Chosen of the Dead Three. And needless to say, as Bane is the god of tyranny, our allies who worship Baal and Merkel must, in the end, defer to us. I think we've read that before. All right. Uh, oh, there's one more bit of major loot. Okay. And then there's just a whole bunch of stuff to grab. Um, Servitors of the Black Hand. Your unarmed attack, Steel. Okay. Not relevant. Also, just a mirror in the corner for him. And this. This is ours as well. Over there. Oh. Never mind. 
Turns out my um, perception was good. As in me, not my characters. I was like, there'll be loot. Ah, it's high security thing. Elixir of health. Cures any disease, removes blinded, paralysis, and poisoned conditions. And see... And shield, steward, interrogation, log, scroll, or letter. Interesting. Um, okay. And did you begin to suspect that Duke Stelmane was not herself? I cleared her dinner. Yeah, we've read this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how he found out about the Emperor. All right. Um, scroll or letter, by the way. Yeah, okay. This is the first part of the game that I would say... <laughs> is truly a little unfinished, right? There's a lot here where I'm like, yeah, I can see all the parts and I can see how they all fit together. They just don't fit together correctly. At least the way that we did it. I don't know whether we did something weird to do things oddly. Also, this is odd that there's, yeah, there's bits and pieces all over. Anyway. I think what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. Next time we're going to grab as much loot as we can. And then maybe start working our way to Auron? I guess? Oh, well, that seems like a plan. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.